I'm really grateful. And so is that man over there. Oh yes. Well, oh, shit. The big reveal. So we are attempting the impossible here. 20 to six, we'll, we'll get on the road, eh? We need a lot, aren't we? Oh yeah. I'm gonna shine in the sun. Yes, indeed, indeed, Monday, it is Monday. And usually for us, we're actually gonna be out with a client today. Uh, we're not normally out with clients on Mondays, but this one isn't too far away. So a little bit of prep to do for them. So we're going out about three o'clock to go and see them, which is great. And did some painting at the weekend, which you may have seen on the last video, which is great. I think we'll press on. Ooh, what we got there, man? I don't know, I'm gonna try and... <laughs> yeah, I like this is going to work. Is that sealed to within an inch of his height? the seal. Who puts a seal like that on it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, broke the seal. Hey, I was going to say this might take a while. Oh, power tools. Mm, nice. Power tools. Can you imagine that? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, awesome. Right, so guys, let me just uh, bring you up to date. We just had a little conflab inside the pod, because um, we're going to look at ways to get rid of some of the stands off the floor, because uh, I need a bit of floor space. And at the moment, there's four lights and two cameras. So, what, plus the Instagram tripods. There's seven tripods taking up floor space. So, one of the things we want to have a look at, really, before we move on today, is how we can get that minimised. So, now we're going to have a look at lighting. So we're going to see something we never normally show, and that's the top of the pod on the structure of the building. Because so we've got to try and figure out how we're going to put a lighting system or a lighting rig up over the pod where there pretty much is no space to breathe. Right, let's go have a look. So, this is above the pod. There is a couple of orange jays that we may be able to sit these on. It's just a question of whether they're going to be bright enough and close enough if we put them in there. You know, one single fluorescent light there. We've got one just around where Ed is, just underneath there. And I think that's about it, isn't there's it? Two, there's two more beyond that RSJ. It's not enough. If we turn the lights off in the pod, it's just not enough when we're filming. Oh yeah. Right, okay, so we've successfully figured out what we need to do with lighting. So it's fairly low tech, we just need a lot of materials. So uh, I'm just gonna go and figure out what we need now. And I'm gonna get wrapped up for the client. Prepping up for client, that's the two wrapped up. I'm just gonna get those set in the van. I'm gonna go and cut some wood because I've got to do some adjustments. Get in here now. Try and remove all this wood. Yeah, I'm gonna drag all this wood out. I'm gonna reclaim it. And there we go. That's what I salvaged. This is the old stuff that we put around the uh, rotating table. Now we've got uh, our new system with the barriers. We don't need this, so I'm gonna reclaim this wood. So this is the space that we gained. Oh, I can walk all the way through now. Okay, next on the list. So with the pod upgrades that we're doing, we, uh, this definitely needs a little bit of a cleaner. I'm gonna make up this uh, shelving unit. a bit better than that it does mate yeah actually look so when you consider we've come from this this little two box a right? little two box now i've got i've got four times the amount How oh, that's is that? so actually we have got somewhere for everything now which is a little bit better for organizing it's not all chaos everywhere yeah, yeah. we've only been waiting to do that job for about four months but today just seemed like the right day to do it right time to lock up go see a client your phone sir stop well oh, shit Yes? I'll get me coach. Should I audition? No. No. Please. Please, God, no. Right, buddy. Off we jolly well go. Well, I say that loosely. That's the traffic jam we're just now going to go and sit in.
all back in all back in all back right in. how about that doesn't that look pretty epic so yeah we took two paintings out they've definitely chosen the right one as you can probably see from the video looks amazing i think when they get some spotlights on it as well they'll be even more surprised but for one day i think that's it so it's definitely now time for home if you're new here and like what we do, then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Welcome to Tuesday. Sun is in the sky, timber is in the van. We've got a lot of work to do. Let's get motivated for the day. Why are you there? Get going. Right, that's the wood done. Nice. I'm very much looking forward to putting this on the website. I don't think that's going to be around for long, do you, mate? Oh, no. Let's unwrap that and have a look. Here we go. So did this on the live stream ooh, a couple of weeks ago, was it? We'll pop a link up in the screen so you can go and have a look. But look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is very much all boxes ticked, I think. Oh, perhaps on a diamond, sir, yes. Oh, I'll tell you what, mate, that does look good. Oh, delivery time, what we got? So guys, let me tell you, those are gonna be for our new lighting gantry that we're gonna build, that's him and me, and wire up together, ready to go overhead in the pod and make the lighting on the live streams better. And dude, let's have a look. Okay. The big reveal. Oh, I say, skadoosh. Mmm. Oh, that looks nice in the light. Right, let me hold it, mate, and you come and have a look at that. Jeez, look at the cells on that. see what they think. Six o'clock tonight, we'll be at the client's house and we shall see. Right, so at the moment, Ed's in the uh, paint booth. What I'm doing is I'm watching when we created uh, neon rain underneath the barrel and we're gonna try and recreate that now with slightly different colors. Now you guys all know just how difficult it is to try and recreate something. So we are attempting the impossible here. So that is the session finished. We're gonna be heading off to the client shortly. Yeah, so at uh, 20 to six, we'll, we'll get on the road, eh? arrived on a beautiful sunny evening hey, hey right we got a painting for you should we grab it all right let's do it we we have some photographs you might be interested in yeah i'd like to say half the press but it's more like half the barrel I wouldn't want to deliver these for a living. Yeah, that's hot, mate. That is H-O-T, hot. Yeah. Right, let's go in, mate. Let's have a look, see what we got. That's got some really nice details in it. Yeah, look at that, mate. This is, uh, look, it's all got these tiny little things going on. That's really cool. Yeah, I love that. I think that's going to shine in the sun. Okay. Right, 
nice just pairing up a load of bars for uh, a commission these are so that the client has plenty of choice they're gonna have a, a varied assortment that's what we're sorting out on the floor here so far that's me and Ed that's what three hours in the office now trying to do paperwork trying to sort out a problem with a website uh, that turned out half of it turned out to be Google and YouTube not talking to each other oh joy about three hours before live stream yeah, we're still at 37 degrees in the back here. I think I'm going to curl up on the table and go for a for sleep, I think. Far too warm. Right guys, that's a setup for live stream. As you can see now, we've removed the barrel. The barrel has gone, so we've converted it. From having machinery in here to having flat canvases again so we're just probably now with about an hour and ten minutes to go uh, starting the final prep ready for launch that was on the barrel earlier so we got that up just finishing its drying still a little bit tacky on the sides and uh, interestingly for tonight we've changed the angle of one of the cameras so instead of having it over in the corner we've now got it situated right in front of the canvas which we've never done before and as you can see me walking over there that's given us a really nice angle to start the live stream with so very pleased with that so there we go guys that is us set up now for about oh, i don't know just over an hour's time I'm ready to do giant canvases for this evening's live stream now don't forget if you're new here please do give us a subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video because it really does help the channel out I'm really grateful, and so is that man over there. <laughs> yeah, listen guys, we know it's a fantastic day, and the weather's really nice. If you can't make it, watch the replay. Right guys, I don't know if you can hear me, I'm recording this on my iPhone, but I've got, look, the mask is on. Okay, so we're all set to go now for the live stream. I'd be surprised how much prep this takes, usually the whole afternoon. The fans are gonna keep me cool. Laptop ready for the chat. Instagram ready to go on the phone. All cameras set up, AD in control. And it's uh, all systems go, so let's do this. Right, that's the live stream done. That's the two there, there's the overhead. That's the two we did uh, tonight. Very successful. Ed's very pleased with those. Just finished live stream. It's past nine o'clock. Just gonna put the lights out in the pod. But look, let me just give you a sneak peek. Look. Oh, yes. We've had quite the 24 hours, really. For those two on the floor, what we did tonight, I'll pop a link up in the screen and certainly one in the description, but so, so mega, mega happy with those. Right, back up the pod we go. Got to leave the extractor on. Where's my long-suffering colleague? Right, so all the batteries need charging. That will get done uh, another day. But I think after two very successful paintings being created, for the whole world, live on the internet, I vote that we go home. Sounds good to me. Right, good morning everyone. My day has started off at the art supply store, getting stretcher bars. Next stop, studio. Oh no, where has all the sun gone? There's all grey clouds everywhere. Boo, hiss. Never mind. Get the van emptied and make a start. Right guys, so first on the list, uh, emails to reply to, including we're ordering some new camera equipment for the live stream. Plus I've got a stack of emails to do. We need a list with about another 10 things on before we actually get into the paint room. So let's get that done, then we get on. Did I mention I was running out of room? Like the canvases have even made it into the main part. Look, I've got four in here. And uh, are you ready for this? I think that means I'm officially running out of room and it's not just here as well. Now these were getting ready to go to see a client on the 27th, but we're having to sort through things like stretcher bars and figure out what it is we need and for which paintings. But there's also all that over there and we were really, really, really super busy. Uh, predominantly with commissions at the moment, there's stuff everywhere. We're just trying to get, uh, as you can see here, bars organized so I know exactly what we've got to stretch, when we've got to do it. So as you can see, there's quite, this is some of the stuff you might not realize, which is another reason why I've been and got stretcher bars this morning. So I'm now about to reorganize all this lot. I'm filling some of the blanks with some of the canvases that are currently missing the stretcher bars. Right, I'm just gonna go in and have a look. So I'll switch the extractor off. There we go. See how the two from the live stream turned out. Whoa! Super. 
happy with that, mate. Okay. Right, let's grab the first one. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, really digging that. That is gorgeous. Ah, there she blows. I really hope you're getting that now on your screen, because if you can see this for real, it literally looks three-dimensional. All the way down, look, some giant glacier. And then as it runs through here, look at this. Yeah, I know. So this is proper first look since we pulled it out of the pod. Yeah, that's silver. Look at that. Well, you think that's texture, don't you? But that's not. That is not texture. That is the paint and the way the light's hitting it. Yeah. So remember, if you want to see how this was done, click the link in the corner of the screen. We'll pop a link down in the uh, description and go and have a look at the live stream and you'll see exactly how it was created. Session done, which has been quite warm in there. Friday afternoon, I'm pretty shattered. However, let's go see what Aidy's been up to. I need to start on figuring out some of this lighting. Start to uh, make the bracketry up to get those above the pod. Hopefully this will sort out some lighting for us. Right, so light rigs. So we've got one, two, three there. That's the fourth one up here. So this is going to give us two runs of four. So that's eight in total directly over where Ed paints. So hopefully that's going to be enough. Locking up time? Yes, Friday. <laughs> time just about to go home, seeing as we've been here literally since the crack of dawn. But I've got to say, I think you'll agree, that's quite a week we've had. Not only have we been able to see someone and put paint on the wall, have we done that once or twice? I can't even remember, possibly twice, I don't know. But we've done the lighting rigs, painted I don't know how many paintings, done a really super successful live stream. Well, as you can see from the video, we have literally had one of those weeks. And the average temperature has been about 35 degrees C. So I think finally now we're going to wrap things up and we'll see you next time. Don't forget, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, do give us a subscribe and make sure you give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.